morning, ambitious anglers. Welcome back to another episode of Will It Lure? I'm Brody. One of the most common questions I get is what lure works best for a particular fish species. The point of this series is to target new anglers and anybody that's getting into fishing wanting to know what lures work best for those particular species. And what I will do is go out, purchase these lures with my hard-earned money, come out here, test them for you guys to see. That way, whenever you go to a fishing tackle shop, in store or online, you won't feel overwhelmed on what lure to purchase. So in this series, I abide by a few guidelines. Number one, you have to pick a target species and they actually have to be in the air. Area. Number two is we have to pick a lure that will have some chance of success, keeping in mind the features of size, color, and bait that's in the area. Number three, I will show you how I'm fishing the lure and then the action that it does provide. And number four, we'll rate the lure. If it catches zero fish, it will not lure. If it catches one fish, it will indeed lure. And if it catches three or more fish, I will give it the ambitious angler seal of approval to go out and get it now. A little disclosure guys, some of these lures may or may not work depending on the time and the location that it is fished in. So today's target species guys is striped bass. So the lure of choice that I'm going with today, just because of the conditions at hand, is the bucktail, the Spro bucktail. This is the one ounce version. You can get these as low as one quarter ounce in weight all the way up to six ounces in weight. It really depends what type of tides and current that you're fishing around. Right here, the tides and current ain't that strong, so I'm just going with a one ounce. Plus, I'm fishing it kind of on a channel ledge. So these bucktails here will imitate something like a bait fish just hopping along the bottom, almost like a shrimp or a squid type of deal. So this one right here is just the standard version Spro bucktail. And this Spro bucktail here, the green and white one, has a modification to it. The modification I added was a four inch white Mr. Twister soft plastic. This is what you would call a mojo rig. A lot of the guys in the States use them for stripers, but also like fluke, which is like big, big flounder. Um, I'm gonna use this today just to kind of test it out and see what it's like. The main method of fishing these guys are to jig them. So basically cast out, let it sink to the bottom, jig your rod up and down, and basically what you're doing is just hopping it off the bottom. But you can troll these around as long as you have some sort of soft plastic with a lot of action. So let me take you guys out to some shallow water and I'll show you what the action looks like. So guys, the Spro Bucktail, whenever you're twitching your rod up and down, this is what it's gonna look like. It just hops up and down like that, just like so. And this one, guys, is our modified Spro Bucktail. Lots of action, as you can see, with that four inch Mr. Twister soft plastic. And finally, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go out and purchase these Spro Bucktails. I am gonna be throwing these bucktails on my 10 foot Shimano Speedmaster paired with the Shimano Saragossa 6000 saltwater rod and reel. I got 30 pound braid and 30 pound fluorocarbon. So for current conditions, we have a clear sunny day, not a cloud in sight. Very light winds coming out of the Southwest. We have an outgoing tide for the next four to five hours. Currently, I'm in an area where I'm around some rocky structure. There's a channel that's just to the right of me that is going in and out of this bay. And this is where I'm trying to pick off my striped bass today. The bait fish that are currently in this area can be anything from minnows to gudgeons, sand shrimp, sand eels, all the way up to mackerel. There's lots of bait around this time of year because it is currently August 30th here in PEI, Canada. Without further ado, guys, let's start casting. Will the Spro Bucktail one ounce version lure? Let's find out. Okay, since the sun is super high in the sky, it's gonna push those stripers low towards the bottom. So with that being said, I'm gonna go with the Spro Bucktail one ounce. And for the color of choice, it's gonna be the green and white color. And I do have some sand eel colors in the uh, feathers of this bucktail. So we'll throw this guy out and work the bottom and jig it and see if we can get them to commit. We do now have boat traffic, guys, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's cast right there on the ledge. So with these bucktails, guys, I'm just gonna let it sink to the bottom. I have my rod right here. I'm just gonna give it a twitch upwards. Basically what we're trying to achieve is just hopping that thing off the bottom. Just like so. Alright, bucktail out. 
Now, if the stripers do hit it, they usually hit it after the twitch. You kind of want to keep enough taut in that line just to feel the hit. Okay, guys, the fish have been super finicky this morning. And right here, I have the Spro Bucktail one ounce, and I added a four inch Mr. Twister for some action to hop along the bottom because the original with no modifications were not working. So let's check this guy out and see if we can get one. Okay guys, same thing with the Spro Bucktails. Just gonna let it sink to the bottom. Just give it a jig off the bottom like this. Just wait for hits. There's a hit right there already. Basically just jig, let it go down. You'll get your hit right after the, the hit. You'll get your hit right after the, the jig. And this is where we hook up. Finicky fish solved with that four inch Mr. Twister. It makes a huge friggin' difference. Get you pulled up on these rocks here. Okay, there we go. Okay. For finicky stripers, add a four inch Mr. Twister to your bucktail. And that's what you get right there. Schoolie bass, let's get this guy back in. So, the bucktail does indeed lure, guys. Basically just doing the same thing I did with the original Spro. Hop it off the bottom, just like so. Which is, there's the hit, there's the hookup right there guys. Got one, right on the bottom. They honestly do not want to come up to the surface right now and I've been noticing that all morning. So that's why I chose bucktails for today's lure of choice. And I'm glad I got fluorocarbon on because these guys are taking me in the rocks big time right now. Where is this guy at? Oh sh There he is. <laughs> there we go. There's another one guys on the modified Spro Bucktail with a Mr. Twister 4 inch. Another bass right there. There's two guys this morning. That should do it. Hop it off the bottom. There's the hit already. There's another hit, got one. Look at that, right away. Just goes to show that they've been here all morning, but they didn't want to hit any other lures, so I had to switch to bucktails, but they wanted a modified bucktail in order to eat it. Crazy. Let's get this guy up. All right, there's number three guys on the Spro Bucktail one ounce for stripers with that four inch Mr. Twister modification. I'm gonna get this lure and modification, the seal of approval to go out and get the bucktail now and make this modification. Trust me, it makes a world of a difference for finicky striped bass. Give it a try. Okay, buddy, go on. Let's see if we can nail a few more here with this uh, bucktail modification here. They're definitely down there, they're just, there. They just don't want to eat. Heck yeah, man. It's so cool to figure them out. They're all schoolies, but I will take anything that I can get this morning to make this trip out here worth it. This way, buddy. There we go. There we go. The Spro Bucktail, once again, with the 4-inch Mr. Twister. Okay, buddy. Let's get you back. There we go. See ya. So if you guys want to see what the package looks like, it's this one right here, Mr. Twisters, four inch. I got these at my local Canadian Tire. Now these are not scented, but uh, basically just threaded on your hook, just like you normally would a other soft plastic. And just put it down to about right there on your hook and just start threading it up. And any soft plastic you would, there you go. Now the feathers are all off my bucktail, they basically just chewed them off, but it still works. It's more about the action and the tail. Get this guy cast it out. Twitch. There's the hit. Twitch. Twitch. There's another hit. There's one. It's got one. Right there. And he's taking me way over there in the rocks. <laughs> oh, this guy's a little bit bigger than the actual this guy's a little bigger than the last few I've had this morning. Nice. Yeah, he's a little bigger than the last few. 
Not a lot far bigger, but we'll take what he has for us. Don't shake. Got him. That's a nicer one. 100% nicer. Now that right there, my friends, is a nice little bass on the Spro Bucktail. Looks like my uh, Mr. Twister's all gone again. So anyway, works, guys. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. We had four stripers on the bucktail this morning, modified with that four inch white Mr. Twister. I did catch one off camera, so technically I had five. To be honest, guys, I actually started this morning with shallow divers just to see what they would do, and they weren't working. I had zero hits on them. So I'm like, well, let's work the bottom just because that's our best chance with the sun being so high in the sky as it is. I know those stripers are going to hang low. So we threw the bucktail on initially, nothing threw on the four inch Mr. Twister, boom, hit them all right at once. For the last hour and a half, I did play around a little longer. So I did throw on the green and white Spro Bucktail with the four inch white Mr. Twister, but the straight bass seemed to have taken off for the day. So anyway, no sense of being here, but very good learning experience, guys. I hope you learned something because I sure did. We solved the finicky straight bass this morning. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a like, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and please share these videos with anybody that is getting into striper fishing and using lures for the first time. This series might help them out. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay determined to cast because you are destined to catch. Take care, guys.